guys, it's Anika. Welcome to my Chanika. Chemo before I repossess a strong arm bands and tuxedos. I look like I have a giant bruise on my eyeball. But actually, I was just trying out the eyeshadows before I did a video because I haven't done eyeshadow in a month. So I just want to make sure I can still do it. And I can't, so... Welcome to my tutorial. Today we're going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. This palette is dedicated to all my loving subscribers and let's get started. My goal is to do like a kind of folly, smoky eye. I'm going to do a half cut crease and liner, but this is what I have so far. First, I am going to prime with the Tarte Shart Tape. I love sharding. <laughs> so I haven't really posted it in a while. And the tea with that is I feel like I've low-key been in a rut because like all summer, I tried to post and it was just like videos that nobody wanted to see. <laughs> And I think it's just because I'm in this place where like I have so many like ideas and I like want to do new content But I just like don't have the energy to Because all summer I was like resting and recovering from school I also forgot to take my meds a lot this summer so that was kind of awkward But now I have school so like I'm properly medicated and like rested but I have school now So I kind of want to do online school but the thing is sophomore year is so much better than freshman year was It's honestly kind of crazy I'm like shookity wookie about how that's turning out for me Yeah I feel like people are just being a lot nicer to me I don't know if it's because I'm a sophomore or what But first I'm taking the shade shickety and I'm just putting this everywhere. It's gonna be my transition color and I'm gonna blend this color pretty high up. As you can see, it kind of blown out. I don't know if that was intentional, but it happened. So we're going with it. Kind of like packing it in a ring in my crease and then like blending it upwards. And I'm using a Morphe M332 for this. I honestly don't know if this is the best brush for this, but I feel like it's doing the job. I want something dense. Fall is coming. I don't know if I'm excited. Fall, I guess, is like my second favorite season. No, kind of low-key my third favorite season. Sorry. Then I'm going to take this shade, which is called Hunts. And I'm going to put this like in my, on the outer half of my crease. We're not going to do the inner half and then we're also gonna do it like kind of in the outer corner and we're packing it in but then I want to take another brush and blend it out this is the Sigma E40 and you can blend it inwards but I just wouldn't pack the color on the inner part so how have you guys been literally my life has been so uninteresting I have not done anything I don't think I mean I made a new friend her name's Lola she's friends with like me and MC and McKinley so it's nice that like we have another friend because MC and I like at the end of last year we were like girl we need to snatch the new sophomores maybe even new freshmen just because we need friends so bad Glad that we have another friend Jacqueline why won't you blend out queen has anybody bought the uh, like the vault I feel like I'm really off to the side but the vault of like her four eyeshadow palettes I know the first time it came out and it was like fucked up and then the second time it's supposed to be better but like Okay, so now I'm taking the shade Under Hunts, which is called Jax. It's kind of like a dark purple, and I'm taking this on an MUA 315 brush. It's like a really small um, crease brush, and I'm putting this like right in my outer corner. And this color is really dark and really pigmented, so I'm like painting it on there. And I'm kind of swooping it out and also into the crease, mixing it with the red that we just put down a little bit. Bringing it up a little bit, just kind of dispersing the color. I haven't done like a good old fashioned get ready with me makeup tutorial in a while. And that's what people said that they wanted to see more of. They said that, like, I mean, I kind of low-key stopped doing makeup videos just because over the summer I wasn't wearing makeup. Just because it was the summer, I don't know. I wasn't feeling that inspired with makeup this summer. I was feeling more inspired by like clothes and other things. I don't know, I need to get back into it, but I'm really enjoying makeup right now. I should probably lean this way so that you can see what I'm doing. Wow. <laughs> should not be a beauty guru. It's okay if it's like a little bit messy because I just took concealer and I cleaned up the other side. And we're not even done, so. Wow, the eye that we did on camera looks so much better than this eye. Way more blended. Okay, so I'm gonna go back into the first color chickadee on the big fluffy brush and I'm just gonna blend all of that. Wow! I'm almost like contemplating redoing this eye because this eye just looks so much better but honestly I think I'll be fine. Now I'm gonna cut my crease, just my inner corner though. I don't know. I think I'm just honestly kind of scared to come back to YouTube because I'm just worried that like I'm not funny anymore. I think it's just like a lot of insecurity. Thank y'all for sticking with me through this. I'm not gonna talk for a sec. And then while it's still wet, I'm gonna go back into that Jax color on the small crease brush and I'm gonna blend out the edges. It's really easy when the concealer is just freshly wet. I'm gonna do that on the other side. <laughs> That's the tea. I should be on America's Got Talent. What 
do you do on the lid of a spooky eye? I honestly have no fucking idea. You do glitter, don't you? I don't want to do glitter. Bitch, I would rather kill myself than do glitter. Glitter is like herpes. I don't know why you would ever inflict herpes upon yourself. I feel like I should do like a gold. I wish I had trophy wife right now. I feel like that would be pretty on this. I just need like a gold shimmer color brush. I need to get my acrylics back on. I know, it's just not me without them. I don't know, fam. Things have been changing. I miss the old Annika. This is the Aphrodite palette from Hush Beauty. I just hate shimmers because they always like transfer into my mat and it like ruins my look but I think I'm gonna do a line of gold glitter unless that's basic because I always do that suck my dick these are my favorite kinds of looks to do because they really complement my eyes so if you don't like it find another fucking channel no for real you probably should I'm trying I need to get back into it because YouTube is just like my favorite thing to do ever it's like my passion and it feels right it feels like this is what I was meant to do but I just feel like I don't have time for it Sucks. This eyeshadow is so pigmented, especially on top of the wet-ish concealer. It's called Sparks from that Aphrodite palette. I hate shimmers so much. It just drives me crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go like get a washcloth or something and like clean up underneath. And I'll be right back. Off camera, I filled in my eyebrows. I also did my concealer and I cleaned up the edges. So now I'm gonna do my lower lash line. I'm gonna take this brush, which is the Morphe E36. I'm gonna start with Chickadee and you know, kind of just mimic the same thing that I did. So I'm gonna really smoke this out on the lower lash line so I have this video idea I really want to do a video on like Netflix shows that are underrated but good like things that you should watch on Netflix just because I don't know it really sucks when like you finish a show and then you just like have nothing to watch and I feel like I found a lot of good like relatively overlooked shows I would also mention like the good ones like shameless and stuff I don't know let me know what you guys think of that I also have a few movie recommendations yeah but I've been watching a lot of Netflix <laughs> let me know if I can put my knowledge to good use okay once you have chickadee down you're gonna go into hunts which was that red color you're gonna not go as far out as you did with chickadee but you're not gonna get too too close you still want to smoke it a little bit be careful because it's pigmented and then go back out with chickadee and blend it Yeah, I like it. I think it's always good to have like a color on the waterline. Pulls the whole thing together. I just don't like have the cash to like be buying all these different colored eyeliners. So I usually just use eyeshadow. And so it usually fades. But you get the general outline. For bronzer, I'm going to use my butter bronzer even though she's broken. I've still been using her. I've just been using the little chunks that are left of her. I missed you so much. I need to get another one, but like I said, I'm broke, so we're waiting on that. It's okay, I have a lot of other bronzers, but they're just not as good as this one. Yeah, I spent all my money on clothes, so I'm gonna be doing a haul soon. I've got a lot of clothes. I think I really bought too many, Queen. Like, I bought too many. But it's okay, because I've been wanting to redo my wardrobe for a while, and I think I'm getting there. And I'm not even, like, contouring. I'm literally just, like, bronzing, so I'm pale as fuck. Should I do liner? I probably will do winged liner and lashes. We're just gonna go all out today, you know? I might have to do that off camera though, because my camera's dead, so I will like do it off camera and then charge. For highlight, I think I'm just gonna use my Milani Day Glow Strobe Light. I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild brush. Oh, it's a crown brush, never mind. Packing it on there. Get a dense brush and just pack it the fuck on. And also, what I've been doing is I've been putting setting spray on before I do my mascara, just because it always makes my lower lash mascara like run and then transfer, so I've just been doing the setting spray beforehand. It's my secret. So let's do that now, and then I'm gonna do my liner and my lashes, and then I'll come back and do my lips. Okay, so for lashes, I use the Lily Lashes Miami, of course. They're really pretty. For lips, I'm gonna use like a nude lip pencil. This is Essence in the Nude. I really want to get the other gloss foam. I just don't think I'll like it as much as this one just because I love the color of this. I don't know. It's so iconic. But yeah, this is my fall makeup look. I really hope that I'm going to be getting back into makeup tutorials. So give this a thumbs up if you want to see more. Because I don't really know because some people are telling me that they want more and some people are telling me that they don't want as many. Just tell me what you want in the comments. Give this a thumbs up if I'm like on the right track. Give this a thumbs up even if you didn't like it. Comment, rate, subscribe, suck my dick, and keep on falling. I just want to say I love you guys so much and thank you for sticking through me with this. I know that it's been kind of frustrating like watching me come and go and figure out what the fuck I'm trying to do. But I really do appreciate it and it means a lot to me. So thank you for sticking around. I really love you guys like endlessly. Tell me that I'm an idiot. You know that you'll be lying. What?